Hello, and welcome to another chapter of a tome pulled right off the shelves at the heart of the jackals. This is Naviri Part 17, Bedtime. Let's get to work. Come on, you. Come on down from there. Let's go. Yeah. Finaz reached out for the climbing pole he'd been plucked from by his father, unable to continue clinging to the heights he cherished so much. It's well past your bedtime, and Mama's already asleep, so you can't turn to her for support. This time... Story? Mm -hmm. Story, God. Of course. There's always going to be a story when I'm here to tuck you in. Cam shut the door to the training shed while shifting Vinaz in his arms. Vinaz, not currently tied down, clambered up onto his father's shoulder, surveying the land with his free hand above his eyes. Cam made sure to duck extra low to keep the boy from banging his head as they entered the main house. All too quickly, Cam tucked his son into the small bed at eye level. This little boy wouldn't fall asleep if he wasn't high up. Cam sat in a chair near the floor, winding the gear wheel next to it that raised him up to the height of his son's bed. Papa! Venaz, okay, you know the drill. Lay your head down and get all snug. Are you ready for a story? from the heart of the jackals. Yes, Papa. Story. Mm. Cam raised a solitary eyebrow, and Vinaz smiled ear to ear as he pulled himself under his blankets, laying back on his pillow and locking eyes with his father. Well, my son, tonight we go back to the very beginning. Out of the darkness of the old well, when the first light was just emerging from the containment of Jaguru's eye, leaking out into the wider world after the death of such a magnificently horrible being, the ancient jackals in their primitive form soon stepped forth. Times were harsher then. It was kill or be killed at every turn. All men were almost as monstrous as the beasts they hunted, and the ones that hunted them back. Oh no! Scary. <laughs> yes, things were terrifying from every possible direction. Jackals couldn't even trust one another in those times. The first ones clustered around the aura and protection of Jaguru's rotting corpse, but a rift opened up in their group. Almost half wanted to venture out into the dark, carrying forth what little they had to discover new shelter among the impenetrable shroud of endless night. No go, no, never go away, no. You would agree with the larger group. They argued that they should stay near the shelter of Jaguru. What little they knew, what little protection they actually did have. It almost came to blows. Blood was almost spilled. All almost came to an end. But the son of the leader that argued to stay, he saw the reason of the group that wanted to leave. He was convinced that their time living under the protection of Jaguru was at an end, and it was by the evidence that the other group presented to him. Ah, oh, okay. Evidence. Yes, he was swayed. The soldiers still considered it the hardest choice he had ever had to make to leave all he had ever learned to love behind, but he found a new feeling. No one knows the soldier's name who changed our jackal fate, 
but we still remember the emotion he held dearly in his heart for the rest of his life. He called it core. It means foundation. It is the ability to calm oneself no matter the situation. To objectively examine all that is before you while your emotions storm constantly around you. He passed it on to his sons, and I passed it on from me to you, Venus, my son. Cam pressed his finger into Venus's chest, and the boy could not fight the urge to shut his eyes and let slumber take him. Cam then made sure his son was tucked in properly, and wound the gear to bring him back toward the floor. He turned off the light as he left the room, glad deep inside to know he had in fact inherited the jackal gift of calming his children with just a touch. And so it is, our time together has once more come to a close. I have been Lothrin and this was Noviri Part 17. Bedtime, another tale from the heart of the jackals. Go ahead, Korboth. Yes, sir. That's the end of the story today, folks. It's pretty good today. Please leave all your comments, questions, and kindnesses down below. It feels very similar to stuff I have with Lothran. It's a good story. Uh, don't be a jerk, though. And don't forget to stay safe out there. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to show your support. And when you subscribe, there's this bell thing. You gotta click the bell button, and then every day when we release our videos, you'll get notifications, because you don't want to miss none of the stories. They're all just great. Good night and good luck. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.